You're above the law. <laughs> and of course it's blowing a gale. probably wondering if I'm doing another solo trip well not really I'm just leaving earlier I've got tomorrow off and we're gonna go camping but because Harrison's in school tomorrow we have to wait for him to finish school so I said and King Billy's coming with us too so we decided that Troy at King Billy and Harrison can come together and I can go up tonight and, you know, find a site, settle in and get it all ready for when they come tomorrow afternoon. So that's the plan, but I've got to work today first, so I'm on my way to work. And Troy will come and meet me a bit later on, about, around about 2.33 o'clock with Coco. Brakes need to be turned up. that way yeah so Troy's gonna come meet me a bit later at my work with Coco and Coco and I will head up to a place called Corop so it is Greens Lake in Corop C-O-R-O-P and it's about two and a half hours from Melbourne so not a bad travel time Misto's turned up what, what? do you got there darling Laura forgot to put the, the new mirrors on. Am I being illegal again? <laughs> You're above the law. <laughs> and of course it's blowing a gale as I have to go and tow the caravan. Where's my girl? Where is my girl? There she is. It's Mummy. Mummy's here. Hey sweetheart. Come on. Alright, ready? Blowing a gale, Coco needs a quick quick run and Troy's putting the mirrors on and then we'll get going. I forgot to top out my city link too. Quick, drop the ball. Good girl. Ready, go. It's got to come in out a little bit. Oh, too much. And up. Yep, Slow. down now. Too much. Too much. Too much. Stop. Slowly, darling. Now back towards you. Yep. Perfect. Rubbish. Rubbish, rubbish, rubbish. <laughs> Hi, darling. I've got a bit of aftershave on for you. Oh, nice. Can you say hi to the YouTubers? Oh. You won't be putting that on. <laughs> Why not? Because. That's love and affection, darling. It's alright. We don't need to show everything. <laughs> alright, have a safe trip. I'll see you tomorrow. <sighs> get a good campsite. That's all I ask. You've got one job get a good campsite. Well, what's a good campsite? I oh, know. You've been doing this long enough. Near, near, not near trees? Yeah. Near the water? Yeah, near the water. In the open. Facing north. Yeah. See how you go. Just drive safely. Two hours and 37 minutes. Alright, let me know how you go. Okay. Alright, love you. Love you too. All See right. you, Thank you. 
All right, we're off. It is 3.06. Now, stupidly, I didn't go to the toilet. So there will be a toilet stop on the way. And I'll probably need a little bit more snacks for the car. But otherwise, we're good to go. Just thought I'd show you what I'm driving in. So as we left Melbourne, it was still sunny. It's grey and overcast. But it was 22 degrees. And now it's five minutes to five o'clock. And it's 10 degrees outside. It's dark grey. The visibility is pretty bad. And it's just constant rain. This is it. starting to come out and it's still windy but my god it's nothing like last night last night it was blowing an absolute gale uh, I think it was at its worst at about 5 a.m. and that's when I text Troy and I've gone this is crazy this is anyway it's starting to clear up uh, note to self I don't think I will come up at night again it was just really unsafe to see what the road conditions were like. There were potholes everywhere and I was just exhausted. So uh, next time we'll just go up together on the morning of, or we'll go up in the afternoon together and then that way you got someone to be a bit of a spotter. Coco, Coco's quite happy at the back there, aren't you darling? Just with her mummy. I'm gonna make some, I'm gonna make a Thai beef salad for lunch. So I think we mentioned we've been on this health kick. So um, we're being really good about what we eat and uh, this is one of them. Dangerous times don't fly too high. Be sure to keep the ground in sight. Fly forever if you keep it tight. Keep the sky on your mind
Jesus, she's she's slippery. <laughs> I know. Hello. Hi. Oh, you got to sit in front of Molly. Yeah. Well, this, will put, this will quieten you down. Oh. <laughs> Mud bath. Oh, oh Jesus. Hi, look, Bill. Hi, Laura. Are you going? <laughs> Good. How are you? <laughs> Welcome fun. to camping again. Oh yeah. <laughs> oh. Get off me. I'm glad I've got work clothes on. Yeah. Beautiful spot. All right, we're going to move the, the caravan. Well, Laura's going to move it. It is super soft here. Like underneath is is hard, but it's just very slippery, and the tires are chocked up. So she's got it in low four. Just going to bring it out here and then reverse it back in. So we've got this beautiful view. Beautiful. It's really good practice actually. Because you always want to make sure that you can get out as well. So we can go straight out here and gun it a bit and it will clear out the tyres a bit. Plus they're at, they're at full PSI so. Million dollar question, is it straight darling? One ten. Sunshine when we arrive. Yeah, she's going to be a wet and wet and windy one. Ah oh well, yeah. could be worse. We could be sitting at home on the couch. She's not looking good. Hmm. Very handy. Oh. Batten down the hatches. Jesus. It's all systems go. Oh, she's toasty in here. Come on, Moose. Oh, how'd Not you much. go? Did you make me a cup of tea, darling? No, you start. I asked you if you wanted a coffee. I'll be hard at it. Do you want this one? This one's a nice one. Smell that. You know you're in trouble when you're drinking tea when you first get to your campsite. <laughs> Why are you bringing two beers in? I got it. I got it. You, you know I'm tea teetotaling. Is that what they call it? You might be. But I'm not. <laughs> you need two, do you? No, well, when I finish one, 
on you Auntie just, just rub it in. It's dinner time and the crew are very much relaxed in the caravan. King Billy's got a Cold. couple of jars. Sweetheart's got a cup of tea and a yogurt. Just live in the drain. Cooey's hugging the bed, not letting her sister up. Moosey. Okay. And Harrison's getting settled in his little bunk area. So tonight's dinner is Kai Si Min. You may not have heard of it before, but I'll put the recipe in. Something that mum used to make for me. It's basically beef mince, cabbage, carrot, it's got some green beans, onion, and some curry powder. And we also put in some rice and noodles as well. So I'm going to start cooking this. I'll put on time lapse and I'll show you what it looks like. Do you want a hot chocolate? Mm. Let me know when you're finished and I'll get the cup. Mm -hmm. okay. Thank you. That means you first sleep back on tour, Doc. Oh, the greatest. The greatest, especially when you wake up to this. Not so much who's on the bed, but when you wake up to that view. I might do a bit of fishing out there today. Uh, what else? Have I, I've got a few jobs to, to do. We're going to put a new hitch on that I'll show you. I'll show you guys the new hitch that we got. Um, it'll level the van right out and it's yeah, it's very minimal pieces. So I'm looking forward to putting that on and assessing how that goes and then show you down the track. Um, I'll let you know down the track how it performs. I think it's going to go pretty well. Um, but time will, time will tell. Oh yeah, I've got another little thing I'll show you. But I'll do that when I, when I uh, get out to the car a bit later. So it's about 8 a.m. in the morning. It's gonna be what's it gonna be today? Temperature. The first hot chocolate in since Tuesday. <laughs> oh, don't don't mind why um. Jumper hanging up there in the background. That's from yesterday, getting soaked and wet. Is it dry? Probably dry. Yeah, it'll be dry by now. Yeah. That's the other side. What are you doing, Moo? Mm -mm. Stay there. That one's not happy, she's got your ducky.
All right, guys, finally I get to show you my new fishing rod storage case. Now, I'm sure all the guys and girls out there know that um, it's always difficult to find a good spot to, to store your fishing rods. Something where, somewhere where it's accessible, easy to get to, you know, they're not gonna break and all that sort of stuff. So, searched around for a long time and finally found this case by uh, Samaki and um, I think it's a ripper. Uh, Laura actually ended up buying it for my birthday, so this is another present that she got me, which is fantastic. So it's all lockable, which I'll unlock now, because as we all know, fishing rods uh, can get quite expensive. And the last thing you want is some grommet out there to go and uh, knock off all your gear. So here we go, I've installed this directly onto the, the roof of the car and the reason why I've done that is one, they're out of the way and two, most of the times when you want to flick a line out, you're driving somewhere. So I'm not accidentally going to leave my fishing rods in the car because sometimes you uh, in the caravan because sometimes you might actually have them in the caravan. You might drive to a destination not wanting to fish and then come across a ripping spot where you think, geez, I wish I brought my rods. So that's the reason why I decided to put it on the roof of the car. And here we are. There you have it. Look at that. I'm only going to carry three rods around Australia. So I've got a versatile um, universal rod that will do some boat fishing, barra fishing, actually quite sturdy. I've got a longer rod which is more off your banks, off the surf. It's a bit of a hybrid. Um, it's got a bit of length to it. And then I've got a little like trout spinning rod um, for your lighter stuff. So you can even use it for trout or whiting, um, anything of the smaller species. So that's a little bit of fun, but they all fit very nicely in here. And the other great thing about this box is that it can extend. So I can move this blue part even longer. So it can extend out to, I believe, I think it's about 2.1. Um, or you can have it as into about 1.5. I've fixed it at that, and I'll leave it at that. I've bolted it directly to the roof, so it can't move. I don't have to strap it down. Um, easy access. Just look at that. Just grab your rods, and and you're away. So I'm only going to I'm going to need two rods here. We're just going to throw a line out here with Harrison, and uh, there's some redfin in there. There's probably some mongrel carp, and. Um, Oh, it might be some eels and stuff like that later on tonight, so it should be a bit of fun. So there you go, that's the, that's the case. Uh, I think they're about $299, so they're not cheap, like anything you buy, you know. Quality remains long after the price is forgotten. Oh, King Billy's in the background, he loves when I use that one. He thinks he's he made up that. No one else can use it. So the other u -butte, um thing that I've come up with is I've got this extendable ladder that we used to use on our rooftop tent, our alley cab uh, rooftop tent. And I've put it on the side of the roof rack here. And it's great because it's great access, obviously, to get up on the roof. But also I can utilise this to get up on the caravan as well. So it's very versatile folds up just sits in the back of the car all systems go what are you up to oh, there's a lot of shit in here though i just want i just want the firebox well that's easy okay bang you're gonna need that anyway move that there take that because you're gonna need it and that sometimes you just got to get a you know men can Men can multitask. So I was doing the fishing rods. Now I'm helping you get the box out. That's not multitasking. You did one task. I'm doing now you're two. To get the other I'm task. doing two at once. 
This is Actually, three because I'm talking to YouTube. This is not working. This is good. I'm happy with this, babe. Don't, don't come in and start throwing the system around. The, the firebox should be in the Look caravan. Look at that. That's all my tools. Oh, and that's where the Starbucks stuff are. Yeah, that's where my coffee machine. Alright, sweet up. I've got to get over. Just do as you told. Oh, You're joking. Oh, geez. Oh this my god! It's just a carp. <laughs> it's still a fish. Oh, it's food. a pretty fish. It's a dirty rotten carp. Well done, mate. You cleaned up the cleaned up the waterway. Two zero. <laughs> Europeans love those bloody things. They do. Can we feed it to the dogs? It's a special way to cook them. You can actually. Do they? Does, does <laughs> cocoa deserve it? They're though? not poisonous. Like the no, not poisonous. Uh, what? Oh yeah, okay. Well, oh, well, that'll keep them entertained for the next few hours. Mm. Well done, H. Yeah, you're a legend. Cause yeah, I can, I can feel the chair moving. Oh Jesus! You're showing the old fella up again. <laughs> but he always does. Because yeah. <laughs> yeah, Dad said that I'd be able to feel the chair moving if it was a big one. There you go, mate. There you go. Patience. That's all it takes. Just a little bit of patience. Well, that deserves a jar, actually. Yeah, that might be two cans of Coke, Cage. Oh, that's <laughs> <laughs> Right, we're just going to check out the um, toilet facilities. Look quite neat. Just got your dump point over here. Because you've been so naughty this morning, guess what? You get to sit next to the dump point. Thought you'd be happy with that. Stay here. Alright, let's have a look. Very nice. Nice and cold. Yeah, some nice clean facilities, which is great. All right, let's get back into the fishing. It's a cracking day. How'd you go, girl? <coughs> yeah, I know. Did anyone inter interrupt your stay with any dump point? Hey, sit down. That's a good girl. Much better. Hey, good girl. Stop. Where's mum? Where's mum?
brisket to the brisket. Are you filming? Mm. Oh, hi YouTube. <laughs> All right, I've got the brisket on the go. I'm um, just going to fry it off. And then what I'll do is I'll put it in the pot, uh, the camp oven, straight over there on the fire. Beer in hand. Oh, sorry, no beer. No beer. Just brisket. Cup of tea. <laughs> finals. Bed. That's us. Sunday. Mm. Right, this is not, deja vu. We're not taking Coco next time. <laughs> she she was alright last night. Oh, shit, what's she doing now? Well, because she can see it. So you just got to shut the door. I can't. I've got to, I'm charging. I'm charging one lithium to another yeah. lithium. Okay. Someone left something on last night and it's just flattened everything. Well, it was on 70% before yeah, we went to bed. Yeah, but we didn't bed. see how many amps it was on. So the, the diesel heater draws 10 amps. Oh, okay, so, so we've got 10 amps. So it's 10 amps. We've got six hours. Yeah, we've cast it. Ah. Maybe. That, that old chestnut. It's because the miso wanted the heater on during the night. Don't blame me. Yeah, but the, actually this happened at about 11.30. The diesel heater light just kept flashing and the control panel just kept flashing. And I just knew. I knew from Tokemore that we'd shattered our battery somehow. Was that, um, was that 11.30? Yeah. Oh, felt like bloody... It was midnight when we got up. When you felt like 3am. Oh well, so I've got the car. Got the car trying to get a bit of charge in. Never mind. All right. Well, that's done and dusted for another episode of Journey Unknown. That was oh. a quick trip. It goes fast, it like, was. and we weren't even on the jars. Jesus. No. Yesterday went for a very long time, but today, because mm. the sun's not out and because we've got no power, we're basically just packing up and we're going to go find a cafe. We're moving on to a town near you. <laughs> <laughs> Got to get this battery sorted. Yeah, no, it'll be all right. It's just one of those little teething problems that we're having. But uh, it's quite ironic that we did the episode on our 12 <laughs> volt system the week before and was just saying how good it was. Yeah. And this is reality right here. So uh, we'll get that sorted out. It's either the battery's gone, uh, we'll drop cells in the battery or um, something was left on overnight and it's mm. just drawn. But it's very strange to lose 60 to 70 amp hours in an hour and a half. Yeah. Um, so if any of you guys there. know out there, um, we're not 12 volt experts, but uh, leave it in the comments. Let us know if there's any um, 
any little secret behind any tips what's happened there yeah. um but we will be back again greens lake is <clears throat> is a top little spot yeah i e like it even though a few campers came in yesterday and friday it's just spread everyone's out. spread out so it actually goes quite a long way um, around that bend as mm. well so there's so much room um admittedly it was pretty wet and muddy coming in mm. um but you can still find nice dry areas. We've got a nice grass, grass patch here right yeah. on the water. Everyone's spread out, as we said. Uh, dog friendly. Uh, there's cold showers up the top there, which I've shown you guys earlier on. Um, Toilets, dump point, free camp. campfires. There's a little bit of internet, a 4G in and out. Yeah. Um, we are able to upload a video. <laughs> It took a good, <laughs> that's probably what drained the battery. <laughs> let's, let's be honest. Um, but anyway, Thanks again for your support. Mm. Like, comment, and share, um, and subscribe. That'll yeah. be fantastic. Uh, we won't be camping for a while, so not to put you guys off, but just to be upfront that we have a few things on the next few weekends, and then we're off to Hawaii. So mm. the next few episodes will be of our cruise and that. So yeah, we're oh, super excited about the yeah. cruise. That's going to be fun. This is like a a pre engagement cruise just in case we don't know. get married what <laughs> <Okay>. <laughs> this is my 40th this is the, oh, the so whole reason this is my 40th birthday <laughs> but this is like a sorry not a pre-engagement a pre um honeymoon pre-honeymoon pre yeah. pre-honeymoon to so, see if we still <laughs> yeah 18 nights 18 nights on a boat in a small cabin yeah. smaller than the caravan but we'll take <laughs> so. you we'll take you guys on the on the venture as well so if you want to see any more of that please subscribe yep. and um we're almost at 5000 yeah the subs are going up pretty quickly it? what oh. are we at let's have a quick look 4932 yeah it's <laughs> unbelievable and we just love when people um, pop in and say hello yeah. and, you know once we're all set up and everything and um, hurting, it's fantastic to to meet like-minded people that are doing exactly the same thing we're no different to you guys we just um put ourselves out there and show you as many destinations as we can so thanks again and we'll see you on the next one we will see you guys bye bye evil can evil uh, I told her to actually give it a bit of stick because the top of this mud is um once you break the surface it's very very slippery through here it's dried out a lot from when we uh, first arrived but it just sticks straight like heavily into the tires especially when they're on highway pressure anyway that's us done and dusted time to do the dump point I'm driving the old man's car. What do you reckon, King? Yeah, very salubrious. Is that all you got? That's all I've got. So you've got to ask yourself, what's better than emptying one canister? Emptying two. <laughs> well done, darling. Take one for the team. <laughs> That's why I'm marrying her. When are you going to start doing dump points, King? When I use it. Oh, you'll be using it. <laughs> Don't know about that. <laughs> On the big lap, you'll be using it. She going out there. Lovely. Just come out to give you a hand, sweetheart. Oh, you done? Sorry, I've been just messaging back the followers. Do you know, it's not emptying the job that's hard. Emptying the, the toilet cassette. Mm. It's oh. actually how heavy it is. Having to lift it up and turn upside down, it's like, it hurts your back. And shaking it. Yeah. And trying not to get back squashed. Oh, you did well, sweetheart. I'll, I'll buy you some breakfast. <laughs> all right, so it's going to fit with all the fishing gear. It's going to smell a bit. Just watch me. Oh, this has got to come out. We can't have this. Can't be getting dirty in the fishing bag. So 
before we got the extra hatch down. I can still fit a few more lures in there too. Look at that. Plenty of room for lures. It's gonna sanitize my hands. I feel like I have to sanitize my whole body after that experience. Oh mm. just made that massage when we get home all that more much more worthwhile. Mm -hmm.